In this video, I want to show you how to install and run Kali Linux on Windows. Before we begin, I would appreciate it if you take a moment to subscribe to my channel to get the latest updates. You have two methods to do it. The first method is to install Kali Linux as an app in Windows 10, and this way you'll have access only to the terminal version of Kali Linux. This is done by installing the Windows subsystem for Linux and then installing the Kali Linux app from Microsoft Store. The second method is to install Kali Linux as a virtual machine in Windows 10. And this virtual machine can be either a Hyper-V virtual machine if you have a supported Windows 10 version like Enterprise Pro or Education that can run Hyper-V, or it also can be under VirtualBox or VMware Workstation. Let's start with the first method, which is the Windows Subsystem for Linux and the Kali Linux app. You should first enable Windows Subsystem for Linux. To do this, click on the Start menu, click Settings, click Apps, and on the top right corner, click Programs and Features. And here you need to click Turn Windows Features on or off, and scroll down to choose Windows Subsystem for Linux. Choose it, click OK. The feature will be installed automatically. And when Windows prompts you to restart, click on Restart now and log back in to continue the installation. After the PC reboots, Windows Subsystem for Linux will be installed. Now we need to go to Microsoft Store and install the application Kali Linux. So in the search box, type Store, click on Microsoft Store, click on Search, and type Kali Linux, and press Enter, and install the first one, which is Kali Linux. So click on it, and choose Get. It's around 200 megabyte file, so it's pretty fast. And here it is installed. So to launch it, in the search box, you can type Kali and launch it. The first time you run it, it will take a few minutes to start. Here it's prompting you to choose a Unix username. So I'll be entering here just user KST, press enter. On the new name, give it a password. Confirm your password and press enter again. So this was the first method to run Kali Linux on Windows 10. Now I'm going to show you the second method, which is running Kali Linux in a virtual machine on Hyper-V. To install Kali Linux as a VM in Hyper-V, you need Hyper-V enabled on your Windows 10 PC. If you don't have it enabled, you can look at the video in the description below to see how to enable it. In the search box, type Hyper-V, click Hyper-V Manager, in Hyper-V Manager click New, click Virtual Machine, next, name it Kali Linux, of course you can name it whatever you want, here I'm naming it Kali Linux, click Next, Choose Generation 1, click Next, Memory, give it 2 GB. This also depends on the memory you have in your host PC. If you have a memory of 4 GB only, give it only 1 GB. But if you have more, give it 2 GB. It will run faster. Network, here I will be connecting it to an external network. I already created a virtual switch called Internet Access. Once again, if you don't know how to do this, this is all explained in the video and the link in the description. So this Internet Access will permit to Kali Linux to go to the Internet and get updates. And then virtual hard disks, maybe I will reduce the size. I don't need it to be 127 gigabyte. So I'm going to give it only 40 gigabyte and click Next. For now, we will leave it as it is, install an operating system later, because we need to download 
the Kali Linux ISO from kalilinux.org click next and click finish now that the virtual machine is created we need to tune some settings on it so click on it and select settings I just need to give it a little bit more processing power here it has only one virtual processor I will give it two virtual processors and that's it click OK and now let's go to kalilinux.org and download the ISO file so click on your internet browser go to kali.org hover over downloads click download Kali Linux and here I will be downloading the 64-bit version so click on it and here as you see it started downloading it's a 2 gigabyte download so it will take a while to download I'll pause this video and come back when the download finishes after the Kali Linux ISO finished downloading head back to Hyper-V and click on Kali Linux and then click on connect and in connect click on media DVD drive insert disk we have to select the ISO file that we just downloaded so go to the downloads folder choose it click open and now let's start the virtual machine and start the installation of Kali Linux so click on start the virtual machine will obviously load from the ISO file that we just attached to it and here is giving us the options that we have I'm gonna select graphic install you can use your mouse here so I'm gonna select English as a language and my location keep it as it is United States the keyboard I have a Canadian French keyboard so I'm gonna select it maybe you have an English keyboard or some other language just select the one that you have wait for it to load the additional components here is asking you which name you want to give to this machine I will keep it on Kali you can change it to whatever you want continue and do we need to install a domain I don't need to install a domain so just click continue here it's asking me to create a user so I'm gonna create user 1 of course you can create the user you want click on continue and this is the account name click on continue also let's give the user a password click on continue this is to configure the time zone I am the eastern time zone so I'm gonna keep it as it is and now it's detecting the disks of course this is a virtual machine so I'm gonna use the entire disk to install Kali Linux on just keep it as it is and click on continue and this is a virtual disk that it detected continue we need all the files to be in one partition and now let's click on continue here is the confirmation to write the changes on the disk I'm gonna select yes continue and now it's starting to install the base system give it time and don't interrupt it after the base system installation it's asking me here if I have a proxy to go to the internet it's not the case for me so if you have a proxy to go through the internet I doubt it if you're working from home so just leave it blank and click continue
After installing the base software, it will prompt you to choose additional software if you want. I'm going to leave everything by default and click on continue. Now it's performing the installation of the Grub bootloader. And it's telling me that this is the only operating system on this virtual machine, which of course it is. Make sure it's yes on the Grub bootloader to install. Click on continue. And this is the device we're going to install. Select it. Click on continue. When the installation finishes, it will give you a message to make sure that the boot media was ejected. So make sure that the boot media was ejected. And here, as you see, it was ejected automatically. So now click on continue. And here is the user that we created when we did the installation. So it was user one. And this is its password. Let's click on login. And this is Kali Linux working within Windows 10. And here you have your applications. And everything is working in Windows 10. That was it. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you all for watching.